Hello, this is Andrew Dugill with Hoffman Realty Tampa Property Management and this is another in our helpful blog series for landlords and this one is called How Not to Lose Your Shirt, Risk Management for Landlords. Owning rental properties can be a lucrative and profitable experience, but it does come with risks and it's how you as a landlord manage those risks ultimately determine the success of your rental endeavor. And this is part four, the final part of a four part blog. And in this blog, we're going to talk about not renting to the wrong tenants. In part one, we discussed insurance. In part two, we discussed tenant safety. And in part three, we discussed important federal laws. I've been a landlord now more than 30 years. And the times that I got into trouble most as a landlord were for one of two reasons. One was I accepted someone that didn't meet our rental selection criteria. And the second reason was there was they met our selection criteria, but there were significant warning signs that they may not be the right person before they had even signed the lease and moved into the property. Occasionally, these things can work out, but my worst experiences as a landlord have been in the cases where I've actually taken people that didn't meet our criteria or I ignored warning signs prior to someone taking up residence in the property. Let me give you some examples. About 20 years ago, I had a property that it was, it was hard to rent and it had been vacant a few weeks. So I accepted an application from this man who didn't have a particularly good background check and he certainly didn't meet our criteria. You know, he told me, you know, sometimes bad things happen to good people, which is certainly true. And, but I'm a good person. Well, it turns out he wasn't a good person. He moved in and almost immediately started harassing the neighbors and they were complaining and they hated him. And then he stopped paying rent and I ultimately had to evict him for non-payment of rent. On the way out, he trashed my property and then he found out where I lived and he came over to my house late at night and tore up my front yard with his truck and then he started calling my wife and threatening to murder her. It was a total nightmare. So don't rent to tenants that don't meet your rental selection criteria. If you want more information, we have another blog where we talk about rental selection criteria. But if you select people only that meet your rental selection criteria, you'll minimize your chances of renting to the wrong tenant. Another example of renting to the wrong tenant would be someone that meets your criteria but prior to them moving in or even signing the lease, there are significant warning signs that they're probably not the right person for this property. You know, one might be the attorney that takes your lease and submits you a 16 page document with all the changes they want to your lease. Most of these changes are removing any potential liability off them and transferring it all to the landlord. Don't do it. Stick with your guns, use your lease. Or there is a person that rents that charming historic 1920s bungalow in South Tampa. And then before they move in, they submit a three page document to you, all the repairs they expect to be made to the property before they move in. And they're things like level the wood floors. There's wavy glass in the windows, please replace it. Well, that wavy glass is a hundred year old handmade glass and is part of the charm of that old bungalow. Uh, the floorboards on the second floor squeak. Well, they squeak for a hundred years. We're not going to be able to fix them. Replace the front door because there are gaps around the historic hundred year old front door. Obviously, this person isn't the right person to rent this property. So deal with it now. You're better off ending the relationship right now and let them go rent a modern property. They'll be happy in rather than trying to make them happy in the hundred year old bungalow. You know, they say that no good deed goes unpunished and that's certainly true for landlords. I've learned that it's better off leaving your property vacant than it is renting to the wrong person.